Hello everyone, I'm Iris Grayson, or the YJ Kid, and today I'm going to be reacting to Young Justice Season 4, Episode 16, Emergency Dive. And... Oh, this has been a great arc. Um, I said about all the arcs, all the arcs have been amazing. But last episode, we just learned that Arian is alive, and... Saturn Girl and Chameleon Boy want to go talk to... I want to go talk to Bart, and that's not going to end up bad. Um, but, yeah, uh, really excited to see what happens. I'm pretty sure this is the end of Kelder's arc. They're back! They're back from Mars! They're back from Mars, and Fondrick gets to meet Baby. Joe is very happy to welcome Baby to our hive. Forger will also inspire you. Very is he graduating? Very Are they already seniors in high school? What? I thought last season they might be... Like juniors? Well, okay, that does make a little sense. Megan Morse's hive can help Megan Morse get dropped. Has Megan Morse seen Garfield Logan? We've talked on the phone, and he was the first person I called when I got back from Mars. But Megan Morse has not met with Garfield Logan? Not yet. I imagine he's been busy with Space Trek and the Outsiders and Perdita. Garfield Logan has left Space Trek 3016. Garfield Logan no longer goes on missions with the Outsiders, and Garfield Logan has broken up with Perdita Vladek. Voyager thinks Megan Morse should go see. Yes, again, go help your brother. Oh my god, that child is scaring me so much. E. Garfield Logan. Don't shift your legs, keep your head straight, back straight. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <sighs> Why is McCann there? Why is she there? Why? What is happening? What is happening? Your landing point? Oh, you've got it, you've got it! Okay. <laughs> Very smooth. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. Stand up, get up, let's get tr- Nope, nope, nope. We'll get through this. Together. I love you. Okay, so he's hallucinating at this yeah. point. He's hallucinating. What would I do without you? I can't believe you called Perdita. You had no right to missing the point, Gar. Perdita and I are both worried about you. Self-medicating may help block your pain in the short term. In the long term, it only blocks your healing process. I don't need your healing process. Just some sleep. Gar, please. We learned on Mars you had underlying emotional trauma you needed to deal with. Hallucinating about Brion didn't come from nowhere. You were terrified of losing another family member. And that was before. Before Connor died? You can't even say it. Maybe I'm not the one who needs help. Maybe I do need help. But we're talking about you now, and you promised to seek counseling when you got back to Earth. Because I was diagnosed by someone posing as you in my mind? Like I'm gonna trust that? We still have no clue who it was. For all we know, it was Connor's killer. Fine. But now I'm saying you're suffering from depression, maybe post-traumatic stress disorder. You have all the classic symptoms. Let me guess. Sleeplessness, self-medication, withdrawal from normal activities, pushing loved ones away. Yes, you're doing all that. <laughs> no kidding. I've been here before, right? When mom died, when Rita died, Chief, Negative Woman, Tula, Jason, Ted, Wally. I survived it all. I know the pitfalls, and I know how to get through this in my own way. It's clearly different this time. Don't forget, I was there, Gar, through all of it. I've seen how strong you are. But everyone has a breaking point. And you're well past yours. Yeah. You need help. No one knows what I need better than I do. So just leave me alone. Yeah, um... Everyone does have a breaking point. And yeah, I'm kinda nervous about what's gonna happen to Gar. Because there was a theory a while ago that Superboy might have almost committed suicide and I'm scared that's what's gonna happen to Gar. And hopefully either McGann or Black Canary steps in to help Gar. And hopefully he sees what happens. And I'm not trying to dull the fact that yeah. On the team, there have been multiple deaths that Gar, I'm pretty sure, has gone through all of them. 
Scar went through Tua's, went through Jason's, went through Ted's, and then he lost about the same amount of people in the grotto because of Negative Woman and the Doom Patrol. And I agree with Miguel that Gar probably has passed his breaking point in how he grieves. Come on, something's totally your thing. You can do this with your eyes closed. But like, don't close your eyes for real, because you might miss and fall forever to a terrifying abyss. I might miss anyway. It's a long way to jump. Dude, we'll make it. We'll make it together. But what's the point? Look at us. Okay, sure. We're dead. Ghosts, phantom spirits, whatever. But I don't think we're in heaven or in hell. We're in some kind of purgatory, so we have to keep moving. Climb the mountain, leap the chasm, pass the test, and prove ourselves worthy. Only way to reach our final destination. Uh, it's a long way to jump. Always is. When it matters, it always will be. But we can do it. We just need a running start. I was just coming up to get you. For the intervention. For the intervention. Huh. All right, let's get this over with. Who's first? Uh, come on, don't be like that. Can't we just be cool here? The way we made the outsiders cool with the world. The world was not cool with us metas before the outsiders. You pulled the outsiders together? Yes, togetherness. Symbiosis, right? Key point. Here. Like, look at Windfall. And even Livewire. They're with the outsiders now because you inspired them. Inspired? Yes! You inspired Medicaids all over the world. With your big mouth. Your mouth is, uh... Voice! Your voice! voice. The one of a kind, Garfield Logan! We miss you, man. I just want you to get some help. And like, how bad would that be? We all need a little help sometimes. That way we can all get back to inspiring folks. Symbiosis. Nice routine. You have the timing down perfect. Now take it on the road. Next. You can't talk to my guys that way. Especially because there are guys. I know you know better because you taught me better. And I know you still have more to teach. Gar, when you went to Marza, I thought I was just filling in as leader. So, okay, if you don't want to lead again, that's fine. But I still need my friend and mentor back. And that can't happen until you help yourself. So? So, the leader thing? Figure it out yourself. I did. Next. Like you, you came back from the dead to give that speech. Next, <sighs> Gar. It's easy, almost fun to dismiss all these people. But it's easier and more fun than actually dealing with your problems, than actually facing your grief. But you're not the only one grieving. The only one hurting. I can't help you if you withdraw from everyone you care about, including me. And you can't help me either. And I need you, Gar. I need my brother. I'm sorry. I don't want to be needed. I can't take being needed anymore. So stop telling me how to fix myself. I'm doing this my way. Alone. Next. Oh, wait. That's everyone. The end. Fine. But there's one thing you can't do alone. Black Lightning made annual mental health checks mandatory. Yours is past due. So unless you're prepared to permanently leave the team, the Justice League, and the Outsiders, you have to attend one therapy session with Black Canary. Because light shows are totally my thing. Huh? Ah, Delphis, would you like to join our mission? Mm, I believe I already have. I love Delphis. What the heck? What? 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 What is happening? You can't just leave it at that and then flash to a happy harbor graduation. What? 
I mean, good job, Forger, but like, what? Forager sees Forager's greatest lessons came not only from Forager's books and teachers, but also from Forager's identity as Redbug with two Gs. Forager was once just a frightened larva, foraging for friendship and a future far from home. To blend in among the Earth drones, Forager became Redbug with two Gs. Eventually, Forager felt Redbug with two Gs was a lie and a problem. But problems can be lessened, mm, and this lesson taught around Forager's neck. Red Bug with two Gs was actually Forager's pupa stage, readying Forager to metamorphosize into a new bug with one G, a true outsider, proudly standing up and out for all of Forager's Earth Hive. So now, Forager gratefully urges his happy Harbor High School High graduating class to learn from Forager's lesson of Gs, both two and one. Stand up, stand out, metamorphosize, and forage the future! Uh, what? <laughs> okay. So, Keller definitely, I think, has one more, well, at least one more, um, episode for his arc. Or maybe two. God damn it, Greg and Brandon. Yeah, Gar, you, she needs some help. He needs a lot of help. And I'm really scared on what happens to him. I want to know what happens, because last episode, um, Saturn Girl and Chameleon Boy went to go visit Bart. I really want to know what happens then. This episode has made me cry the most since Connor's death, which, I mean, is it's probably right. That's the... And that's how I grieve, even though he's a fictional character and he's still alive. But yeah, this, I actually really like this episode because of, again, in Gar's conversation, Gar's phrase, I don't want to be needed, that rings in my ear. Yeah, I hope, I really hope Dinah helps Gar. I hope more people help him again because he needs some more help. And, yeah, that's all I got for today's episode. Um, as usual, please like, comment, and subscribe. Both my Twitter and my Instagram will be down in the description. And, and as always, everyone, symbiosis.